Hello everyone and welcome back to another crafty decor adventure. Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home. Hey, welcome if you all are new. In today's video, I am so excited to share with you some DIY Dollar Tree lemon decor crafts. This is actually gonna be a binge-worthy compilation video of all the summertime lemon decor crafts I've ever done. I always kind of love to bring in some fun, bright citrus colors into my decor for summer. And even if you don't want to decorate with lemons, that's totally fine. I know you guys can get some ideas on some of these crafting and decorating DIYs. So I also want to re remind you guys to comment down below in this video. It's going to give you another entry into my Cricut Joy giveaway. Listen, I recently got the Cricut Joy. It's super fun to use and I just wanted to give one away to one of you guys. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns. Get out your gutter and paint and let's get to crafty. I am so excited to share this DIY with y'all. We are gonna create a super adorable, easy summertime wreath. So I'm starting out with this grapevine base that I grabbed from a Walmart. And then using some greenery, I'm just going to add some greenery picks to the base and then along the top. So just a little tip when you guys create wreaths, it's really great to kind of just start with some greenery first and then add in flowers and bows. So again, I'm just cascading my greenery um, up the side of the wreath and then some down the side and I am using some dabs of hot glue as well Now I'm taking this Dollar Tree lemon branch that I created and to create a lemon branch You'll just grab some Dollar Tree lemons and then one of their cotton stems and then just hot glue them To the cotton stem and then I added one of the little Dollar Tree foliage garland around that and that created this really pretty little Lemon branch stem and so I had two of those and I'm actually going to just zip tie these in one spot Kind of the center heaviest spot of them and then that's going to add my lemons on now I do have an Amazon store that I'll link lemons in as well if you can't find them at Dollar Tree. I know it can be kind of hit or miss. Also, I know Walmart carries them. I've heard that that's a really great deal as well. The next thing I wanna do is create a super little easy, easy bow. I had this black and white ribbon in my stash. I believe I picked it up at Hobby Lobby. And so I'm just gonna use the easy bow maker. You guys could always make an Olivia bow. And again, I'll link my bow video for you down below, but just use the easy bow maker if you're using it. This is a six inch bow. I love the easy bow maker. It just goes side to side. You have this cute little bow. Um, you push your ribbon side to side and then your bow is made. So it's really seriously, <laughs> super easy and you guys can pick those up at Michael's or um, I believe Deco Exchange sells them as well. I think they're like 13 bucks Okay, now I'm taking a zip tie again and I'm going to zip tie my little easy bow to my wreath I've really been loving zip ties lately I think they work better, honestly, in my opinion, than pipe cleaners. Um, and I've just honestly run out of pipe cleaners, so I switched to zip ties, but they have a really sturdy hold. And you guys can easily cover up the little zip tie part with a piece of greenery. Now I'm using some of the little Dollar Tree lilacs and I'm using the white to kind of give some dimension to my wreath. Again, I did just clip them off of the stem and then I'm popping them in using a little dibble dabble of hot glue. And then voila, you guys have a super adorable, easy wreath on a total budget. So ready for some spring summer fun. This is going into my kitchen and I actually found this gold frame from um, the flea market, I believe. Actually, my husband brought it home for me. And um, so I'm just gonna pop that in. The frame is going to surround it. So that's kind of a fun idea to you guys can use is to frame your wreath out. And then here it is popped into my little Hoosier cabinet. It's an old Hoosier cabinet I picked up at a garage sale years and years ago. It's always been like a center staple piece in my kitchen. So fun to decorate with. And I can't wait to share with you all the rest of these DIY projects. The next Dollar Tree D I want to share with y'all how to make a super adorable lemon, you guessed it, plunger tree. So we're going to start out with a Dollar Tree plunger and hot glue the top of that plunger. Then I'm going to go in with this piece of greenery. Now I did pick up this greenery from Michael's. I had it floating around in my craft stash. So I'm just going to hot glue it to the top of this. You can also pick up greenery at your local Dollar Tree. Now these are some Dollar Tree lemons and I just 
hot glued them to this piece of vine that I found at Dollar Tree. So Dollar Tree carries these pieces of greenery and you can just hot glue some lemons to the top of your vine. Um, and so I had created two of these actually last season and I had them in my craft stash. So I'm hot gluing both of these to the top of my plunger. Now you can also find lemons at your local craft store. So get creative. If you can't find them at Dollar Tree, check Walmart, check Hobby Lobby, or check Michaels. I know you guys can find some lemons. Um, you're gonna find your lemons at Dollar Tree in the craft section, same with Walmart, and same with Hobby Lobby and Michaels. Now I'm reinforcing this lemon tree with some zip ties. I ended up using um, one at the top here and that way that greenery was going to hold on really well and then i scooted just a little bit further down and reinforced it down at the bottom the greenery was a little bit heavy as well as the lemons so you don't want things sliding around um, so and i added just a little bit more hot glue here to the top and then i added my trusty burlap and then wound that around the tree to give it a little bit more of a tree-like appearance now I think that we've done a plunger tree for pretty much every season. We did one for fall, we did two for Christmas, we did one for Valentine's Day, and now we have to do a easy peasy lemon squeezy um, tree for our transitional kind of going into spring. And really this is gonna be more for like my kitchen. I love kind of transitioning into kind of some fresh lemon colors. I noticed that Target um, Magnolia line is putting out lemons right now. So we have to keep with the trends or really I don't keep with money trends, but now flip your little plunger inside out, plunge it directly into that Dollar Tree bucket and it's actually gonna stay perfectly, you guys. You do want to give it some weight though with a little bit of sand or rocks or you can pick up a, a bag of Dollar Tree um, gems which is what I had on hand pretty much use what you guys have on hand you could pop in rice anything that's going to give it some weight I know Mr. Romantic had a bit of a time with my fall tree he kept tipping it over he was like babe you've got to put some weight on these so ever since then I've really tried to put some weight down inside of them so then once I had that finished I kind of gave it a bit of a fluffing and added a little bit more lemons in and around so you can just kind of hot glue the ends of them and pop them them in. They're just styrofoam so you can put a little bit of a slit into them and pop them into any branches. I'm using some Walmart bags to fill that in. This is what I had on hand you guys. I'm trying to craft my stash and then I'm popping some little burlap in here. I was running low on my moss. I've been using so much moss already. And so then I just added that burlap in and then gathered the moss that I did have. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here's how it looks so far. I really did feel like though that it did need some greenery. So I'm adding a dibble dabble of hot glue and then popping some of that moss in. And then honestly, I thought this looked so adorable and so perfect. You guys are gonna see lemons are gonna be super duper hot. The Pantone colors for spring 2021 are gray and yellow. So I definitely know we're gonna see lemons. And this lemon tree I'm so crushing on. We did this on a total budget, you guys. So gather the items, your little plunger, your little Dollar Tree bucket, and some greenery and some faux lemons. Have fun with it. Get creative. I can't wait to see your post in our group page. And oh my goodness, so fun and fabulous. For the first Dollar Tree DIY, I'm sharing with you all how to make a super adorable little side table using two of the Dollar Tree wire baskets. And so I just zip tied the wire baskets in to end. And I only needed two zip ties for this project. And then I have um, a little burner cover and I'm going to use that for the top part of my basket. So once those two were together, I also decided to jazz it up just a little bit with some of the Dollar Tree nautical rope. Now you guys could use a ribbon, you could use any color of rope that you love, um, or you could just forego this part. But I thought it would be fun to add that and just kind of make it look like a little bit summery. And this could also go for a coastal theme. So any of the DIYs that you all see me do, 
always remember you can change it up to suit your home decor. The next thing I wanted to do was add my top to my table. So I used E6000 glue and some hot glue, and then I'm gonna pop the burner cover on. And that was really cute, but I decided to customize it to match my summer decor. And so using a bunch of Waverly White chalk paint or any chalk paint is really great because it has great coverage. Um, I just added that to the top of the burner cover, let it dry, and I think I only needed one coat. Then now I'm taking this napkin from Hobby Lobby. It's one of those lemon napkins. You guys can also find lemon napkins at Dollar General for a buck. And I just cut out the shape of the burner cover and then I did detach um, the second part of the napkin. So there's like a little white liner on the back of the napkin. I took that apart and then added Mod Podge and I'm using waterproof Mod Podge, which you guys can get at Walmart or your local craft store. I wanted it to be waterproof so I could set my drink on it. Um, but I am just adding the napkin back on and kind of straightening it out here and then adding one more layer of Mod Podge to the top of that. And again, waterproof Mod Podge is great if you're making a tabletop because it will seal it and it makes it waterproof. So if you have a cold drink, it won't, you know, mess up your pretty design. And again, think about this. You guys could pop into Hobby Lobby and buy pretty much any kind of design paper that you wanted and customize that paper to match your little summer decor or really any decor. This wouldn't necessarily even have to be for summer. Okay, so now I'm just adding some nautical rope again to the side of this to match the other nautical rope and also just to kind of jazz it up and give it a little bit of style here. And also think about this, if you guys wanted to do a glam table, you could always use bling wrap um, in place of the rope and then do like a really pretty little glam top. Ooh, you could even do glitter as the top. So here is how it looks popped in to my little summertime spring setup here. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to decorate for this new season. I still do have to pack up my Easter decor, but check this out, you guys. I thought it was a really cute little table idea for only a couple of bucks. Why I'm gonna use eight of these little wooden squares and I wanna create a little Dollar Tree kind of planter box. So I'm just using hot glue to glue my little cubes together and I did remove the little drawer part of the cube and I am going to save that for another project. And <laughs> so you could just kind of hot glue these together and you could always use wood glue, but just for speed purposes, I went ahead and used hot glue and it seemed to work fine. I don't know, comment, let me know if this is okay to do, but it was working for me, so I went for it. The next thing I wanted to do was glue all my little cubes together. So I'm just gluing them end to end, end to end, end to end. And that's gonna create one big planter box. And I'm gonna use this in my kitchen. I know exactly where I wanna put it, above my Hoosier cabinet. It's gonna be so cute. Okay, so once everything is all glued together, you guys can customize this. So grab some chalk paint. I'm using white chalk paint. You can use acrylic paint. You can use stain, whatever decor style you're going for paint it and make it look like you guys want it to look. And you guys can use this for anything. You could um, use it for florals, you could use it for dividing, you could use it for craft storage, so many little options. I am going to make a pretty easy, easy, easy little floral in it with some greenery and a couple of lemons popped in. It's gonna be so easy and fun. Now, here's a fun little hack you might wanna try. Grab an inexpensive paper plate. I found these paper plates at Hobby Lobby. They were like five bucks and then 40% off that. So they were super inexpensive, super cute, and we're gonna use them for DIYs. So I'm just cutting out the square that's going to fit the front of my little planter box here. 
or cute little box. I don't know really what would you go, guys would call it, but I just cut out squares that size and I'm going to decorate it with um, the little lemon plate, which I thought was a pretty fabulous little idea. I feel like I was a little disappointed that Hobby Lobby didn't have more lemon decor to choose from, but I was also excited in the same sense because I knew I could DIY some for my kitchen. Um, they did have cute stuff and I felt like the best deal was definitely the lemon plates and lemon napkins because I'm going to get a lot of bang for my buck on those. Now I'm taking a stem of greenery from Walmart and then this stem of like little white flowers from Walmart. I think they're three bucks and you get a lot on them and they look really nice. And so I detached all of the um, little stems off of there or the little end to ends and I'm just popping them directly into this little box. I didn't want to hot glue anything. I didn't have floral foam with this. So I just cut them short enough to where you could just kind of pop them right in and hey, it worked perfectly. Once this goes up on a shelf, I don't think anybody's going to mess with it. So I, I think it'll be fine. But if you guys were to put this somewhere that you needed some floral foam, definitely put floral foam down in there if you need your arrangement to stay a little bit better. But here's how it looks popped into my easy peasy lemon squeezy little summer spring decor idea. I was so excited for this. I feel like it's something that you would see, you know, at Hobby Lobby or TJ Maxx for definitely more than a couple of dollars here. For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I have to share with you all how to create a super amazing Dollar Tree wall sign or wall hanger or wood sign. So we're going to create kind of like a faux wood look here by taking the love signs. I'm just taking two of these larger signs and these were from Valentine's Day and I'm just going to chalk paint them and I chose white because this is what matches my decor, but really you guys could choose any color that you love. So go ahead and paint it up and I did also sand the little spots where um, the little hearts were at. Hey, I love these signs. I always pick up a couple extra to craft with um, and then one to decorate with. But anyway, I'm going to flip it over and then add some popsicle sticks to the back of it. And that is going to keep this sign held together. And I will tell you that I have reused this sign for multiple seasons and multiple projects and it works. It stays together. The next thing I want to do is customize it with this Dollar Tree Home Sweet Home. And this is one of their garden flags. They are out right now in your store. Um, you could look in the garden section and they're kind of tucked away. You know, they might be hanging in and around different areas. I find them in different areas in different stores, but this home sweet home flag works perfectly for a sign, you guys. I was so stoked to find out this. And the next thing I was really excited was that Mod Podge works really great with these flags. So if you find a really cute little garden flag at Dollar Tree, they're kind of thin and flimsy, but hey, they work perfectly for signs. Another idea would be to use a pizza pan. That's really what I wanted to use, but Dollar Tree has been sold out of pizza pans for I don't know how long in my area. So anyway, you're going to add a nice layer of Mod Podge to your sign and then you want to lay your flag down and then you can just mod podge over that and that's going to seal it in and I did cut my little flag out it did have a blue background which was cute but I wanted to um, tone it down just a little bit and make it kind of like a little bit French country French farmhouse chic and so there you have that and if you wanted to go a step further you could add a bow or some greenery or whatnot I decided to not add a bow yet <laughs> and I'll tell you why because I still need to to pull down all my Easter decor and then start working with some of my new spring summer decor and what looks good in my kitchen and what accent like patterns I want to use. I'm probably going to go with stripes or buffalo check if I do decide to add a bow. So just a little side note there, but I was super pumped for this project. It came out looking really nice and you don't have to use your Cricut, although I do love using my little Cricut, but it's just so fast and easy. And also I wanted you guys to know that Dollar Tree has a rooster flag that they just put out. I found it yesterday. So check for the little garden flags and there's a gnome one, a lemon one, a rooster one. There's some really, really cute ones and you guys could really make some 
adorable signs and the garden flag doesn't bleed either that's another thing you know you always have to watch out for when you're using mod podge or some type of adhesive glue you may also be able to use a spray adhesive for this project as well i haven't tried that but that's just a little side note and i thought it turned out really super stinking cute now I grabbed two sets. Actually, I have the $1 napkins from Dollar General and then the other napkins are from Hobby Lobby. Now the Hobby Lobby napkins, I feel like are a little bit more high end looking, but grab whatever you guys have and whatever you can find. Dollar Tree does put out a lemon napkin, but it doesn't have this pretty lemon on it. Um, so anyway, I'm using some Mod Podge and a Dollar Tree charger, and I'm gonna create a really giant oversized charger to use for decor purposes. This is one of my favorite tricks to do is taking a napkin and a large charger and making it look really beautiful. A large charger in this lemon pattern would definitely be really expensive at a TJ Maxx or Hobby Lobby and we're gonna do it on the cheap. So again, I laid down a layer of Mod Podge and I do like to use the waterproof Mod Podge when at all possible. Um, the waterproof Mod Podge is good when you're gonna need to wipe something down. So if I was gonna use this as a charger I could easily wipe it off you know if something had dropped out of it on it now remember that no Mod Podge is food safe so if you are going to be creating a plate don't use Mod Podge or paint on your plate that you're going to eat off of that's just a little side note I do get that question here and there um, you, these are just for decor purposes I promise you so anyway I'm adding a generous layer of Mod Podge to the outside of my plate now and that way it's going to really seal this little napkin in now I will also tell you I kind of made a mistake with this I wish that I would have painted my charger white first and then added the napkin in and taken that white layer off I was kind of trying to do it a little bit too fast um, and I was a little impatient with it so I thought that the silver wouldn't show through but the silver did show through just a little bit and so that's just a little side note if you guys want that really crisp clean look like the um, look that I got on my little table that I did you may want to paint your charger white first chalk paint is the best paint for that it sticks to those chargers really well and then add your napkin on and then peel off that white layer of napkin so that's just a little side note but I think it did turn out fabulous anyway I'm definitely going to be using this possibly in my dining room or kitchen um, because I am going to be going with some lemon decor in those spaces I love the bright happy sunshine vibes but I think you know it's uh, beach vibes and strawberries and peaches and just anything kind of fruity is fun for summer or you guys can just go black and why I know there's so many different fun options um, but I hope this gives you guys some idea on how to add a little bit of bright sunshine oh sunflowers are also a fun one for a summer anyway I hope you guys are loving this and having a blast and getting inspired to create something of your own um, whatever napkins you have in your stash go for it get creative and have fun Now the next DIY, I want to share with you how I'm going to style my little three-tier tray. I created this using Dollar Tree supplies. Go check that video out. But I'm going to use some of this lamb's ear and then one of these but first coffee signs. Um, I picked this up at Dollar General. And then I'm just showing you some different ideas. I've got my Dollar Tree prayer cards. I love these. I share a prayer card with you guys every morning on Instagram. So I hope you all are enjoying that. I'm sharing with you different ideas. You could use a little mini house. You could use some muffins. You could use lemons. I'm trying to make something kind of short here so I don't completely cover up my prayer card because after I'm done reading it, I do like to keep it out. That way when I'm doing dishes or whatnot, I can just look over it through my day. I'm popping some more lamb's ear in here. This cord back here drives me absolutely bonkers. So any anything that you guys have that's an idea, I usually just kind of try to lightly cover it um, with like a little sign that stands up kind of against my tray. Now I'm adding a little gingham yellow napkin. This was just left over from Easter. And then my coffee creamer I'm going to have popped in over here. These are some of my little McKenzie Child's mugs, a gift from Mr. Romantic. He found these on last year's McKenzie Child's barn sale, which somebody had let me know that there's going to be another barn sale going on. And you guys need to shop their barn sales because everything pretty much is half off. 
not everything but a good amount of things like all of these goodies were half off so anyway it's definitely the time to buy because their stuff is so high-end and pricey so if you're going to do a little bit of a splurge you definitely want to get those better prices and this little dollar tree life give when life gives you lemons it makes something sweet i love that i used that last year as well and it's just such a great mantra i feel like you know um you can always turn something that's a lemon into something sweet Oh, and these little faux muffins are amazing. They have little tiny magnets inside, so they actually like clip together really well. You can't see them, but it's a fun little feature that I didn't really realize until I was playing with them, but they're foam muffins and they look so realistic. Now I decided to take my little coffee sign and hang it on this hook underneath um, my little coffee area. You can kind of see it a little bit better. And then I also feel like it covers up those ugly cords. So. Anyway, comment down below and let me know if you guys have any ideas for that coffee sign. And um, I just want to thank you all so much for being here. It's a true blessing and honor to have so many of you guys here and commenting and crafting and decorating. And I just love you all so much. Okay, so my secret question for this video is I'm going to do a candle giveaway on Saturday. So comment down below and let me know how are you decorating for summer? Do you use watermelon, lemons, greenery, black and white check? How do you guys go for your summer decor? I would love to know. I love to add pops of color with lemons and sunflowers and I do do quite a bit of black and white check kind of in my kitchen just to give it a bit of a neutral vibe um, but I'm really excited for the upcoming spring summer decor. <laughs> Now it's time to decorate a super adorable summer lantern. So this lantern I grabbed at Dollar General and I'm just going to hot glue gently a piece of foam to the bottom and then using these little Dollar Tree greenery picks, which I absolutely love. If you pop into your Dollar Tree, you have to check out their new greenery. I just clipped apart one stem of the greenery and then popped them in all the different sides of the little lantern. And then I'm adding in some Dollar Tree um, green moss just to kind of fill it out and make it really nice and springy summery. Now I'm adding in some more of the Stellar Tree foliage, but really you guys could use any foliage that you have on hand. The next thing I really thought would be super adorable was to pop in some of these Dollar Tree lemons. Now for my lemons and also these limes are now available at the Dollar Tree. I was so excited to find them. All you have to do is pop off the end of the lime or lemon, add a dab of hot glue, and then push in one of your little floral stems that you have left over from a floral. You could also use like a little kebab stick, but the floral stems work absolutely perfectly. And so I decided to pop some lemons and limes into this and how adorable does this look so far i feel like it's so fun and springy summery fresh this is going to be popped in either on my dining room table or in my kitchen um, just for a little splash of summer zest greenery um, and a little bit of a lemon lime zest as well i've really been crushing on citruses lately and so then I'm just continuing to add a little bit more greenery and then you can use a flickering flameless candle to pop into the center of that. I added some moss also over that. Dollar Tree sells Spanish moss and also the green moss in their crafting section. And then the flickering flameless candles, you guys can get these anywhere. I love to grab mine off of Amazon. Right now they're $13 and then I have, I think they have like a couple dollar off coupon. I made a quick little loopy Olivia bow, just two loops on each side check my bow video down below if you need help making bows and then I'm just going to tie it on with this cute little lemon ribbon that they have available from Dollar Tree give it a nice healthy fluffing oh and the black and white striped ribbon is from Hobby Lobby so but Dollar Tree has ribbon or really any ribbon you have in your craft stash I'm just using what I already have in my stash so here it is popped into my cute little kitchen cabinet area I thought it looked super adorable oh so fun and fabulous for just on a budget little project and make you guys I had another garden gate that I had previously picked up from Dollar Tree I'm reusing this little silver Dollar Tree tin and then again reusing some of my floral foam um, I'm gonna hot glue it to the base of this little tin and then I'm gonna trim off parts of this little it's more of less of a garden gate and more of a trellis 
sorry about that for all of you gardeners. I do know the difference, but <laughs> um, I guess it could be a gate maybe to keep some little animals out of an area, but it's a trellis. So I'm going to trim the um, bottom piece off of the trellis because for the size of my tin, it seemed like it might be a little bit too large. If you were using this outside though, and you had real dirt in it, you probably wouldn't have to trim these pieces off. But for this video and this craft, I'm gonna go ahead and trim them off and make it a little bit shorter. That way my faux um, creation that I'm gonna share with you guys does not flop over. Um, just a little side note on that because I know some of you are gardeners and may be using this out in your garden So it probably would be fine to use if you're going to be planting some real flowers Which I would love to see what kind of flowers you guys are planting post it in my Facebook group page I love to see what y'all are up to so now that I have it all trimmed off I am just going to go ahead and pop it into the base of this little planter here And it did stay up fairly well. I was pretty happy with that um I definitely wouldn't be putting it out in any wind though or outside it's a little bit delicate so just a side note on that now these are some Dollar Tree lemon branches that we created it's a pure one dupe and I'm just popping them in to this planter and I'm going to share with you guys the DIY on how to make these lemon branches but they're so beautiful out in the craft stores and they're a little bit pricey for me so I created these using some Dollar Tree supplies you guys know me and I just pop them in to the base of my little floor floral planter into the styrofoam and then I tied them on with some hot glue or not with some hot glue but with some wire and then I'm just taking um just some it's real actual like dead leaves from outside and I just pop them into the base of my planter and then I'm also popping some moss on top of that I didn't want it to look like all dead leaves down there because the branches are green on this but use whatever moss you have or you could even use some burlap or just whatever goodies you have on hand but now I feel like I have a lemon branch tree in my home <laughs> I know lemons grow on branches, but this was just too cute to pass up. And it was so cheerful mixed in with this little be still and know that I am with you. Again, I did get all of these supplies at Dollar Tree, but wait to shop until we all get to go out back again and do all of our Dollar Tree shopping. So to refresh you on how to make this Dollar Tree lemon branch, there was the original Pier 1. I believe it was $30 or $40 for those several branches. I'm taking a Dollar Tree cotton stem, but you all could use pretty much any floral stem that you have on hand. And then I'm using some of these lemons. You can pop the lemon out of the end of your lemon branch to create this and just add a dab of hot glue to this. Um, you could also use flowers on your trellis if you don't don't have the lemons or you could use apples that make a little apple tree but just continue to hot glue your lemons onto the branch if you do happen to have some of these supplies on hand and just continue on with this as you move up your little lemon plant and they pop in there actually really good with just some hot glue and then of course I had to add some beautiful greenery these are just some Dollar Tree greenery they sold these last season at Dollar Tree I'm not for sure if they will have them again this year but I know a lot of you all may have some sort of greenery on hand. If you didn't have the little greenery here, you could just trim some greenery off of um, like maybe some other floral that you guys have that you're not using and then just hot glue those to the branches to kind of create this little faux lemon tree. Um, but it just always brings a smile to my face to use lemons. I'm definitely gonna be using a lot of lemons in my summer decor. I used a lot of them last year, so I'll just be reusing pretty much what I already had. Um, and I did add in even a little bit of extra greenery just to make it feel a little bit more real. Um, but yeah, so comment and let me know too if you guys decorate with lemons. I love to hear how you all are planning to decorate this summer. 
Um, and I also want to let you all know that you can drop a prayer request in the comment section below for me. That will give us all a chance to pray for each other. Um, and it will also help us feel a little bit less alone. I know um, when I know somebody's praying for me, it just makes me feel a little bit better. And now you can see me cutting up some fresh lemons. I'd like to do a simmering pot with lemons and basil. Just simmer that on the stove to make my home smell delicious. Dollar Tree DIY. We're going to create this really cute little lemon cake. So what you'll need for this project is a little container of the Dollar Tree spackling and you'll find that in the hardware automotive section of Dollar Tree. And then I'm using that lemon Arteza acrylic craft paint and you just want to stir that up really, really well. Also stirring your spackling helps it get to be a little bit softer and easier to apply. Now to make your lemon cake, you want a piece of Dollar Tree styrofoam. I chose the square styrofoam, but they do have all shapes and sizes. And then in the craft section, you can get these little craft tools that are really great for putting your spackling on. And also a knife will work as well, just like an old butter knife maybe that you have at home. And so I'm just taking and I'm using this craft tool and I'm applying the spackling all the way around the edge. And I like to try to leave the top for the last part. That way I have something to hold on to. But the spackling is very forgiving and I really highly encourage you all to try this craft. It is so fun and so easy to make. So just continue to add more of your spackling as you go. And then you can also switch to one of the smaller craft tools that they have in the little set of craft tools in the kids section is where you guys find these um, to do more of a detailed um, finer touch and then I'm going to take this Dollar Tree squishy this is a lemon squishy that I found in the kids toy section and I'm going to cut it in half and I want to use this for the top part of my cake and then I'm also going to cut a little bit of the foam out because it was a little bit too big in its original shape and now I'm just adding some of the Dollar Tree spackling aka my icing to get my lemon to stay on to my cake. Now I'm just going to cut some lemon slices from that same piece of Dollar Tree Squishy and I'm going to apply that to the top part of my cake. And now I'm using some pieces of Dollar Tree Greenery. This was on another floral that I had left over for another project and I'm just going to attach that to the top part of my cake. And you guys can use a little dab of your icing to get these to hold on even better if you need to, if your icing is not thick enough on the top. So you can see I'm just adding a little dab of icing and I'm adding on some of that Dollar Tree chip so it kind of looks like baby's breath. Also a lot of you ask how long these cakes take to dry. They do take three days to completely dry all the way. However the Dollar Tree spackling dries quicker than the spackling that's the featherweight spackling that you get at Lowe's. Just a little note for you guys. And here it is all decorated up so lemon fresh and so gorgeous and I really think it looks really realistic. I think if you didn't know, you might guess that it could be a real lemon cake. And these are so gorgeous and so fun to add to any of your new uh, summer vignettes. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, we're going to create a cute little very easy cake stand. You're just going to need a Dollar Tree candlestick, a little Dollar Tree plate, and then some E6000 glue. And you're going to take the E6000 glue and you're going to apply it to the top part of your candlestick. And you can use any plate that you guys have laying around and I also have found these candlesticks at the thrift store for a quarter just a little hint on that so just apply it to the bottom of your plate and then you'll need to let that dry for about 24 hours before the E6000 glue is dry and then add your darling cake and voila you have a very fabulous cake stand and cake that nobody would know cost you only a bow maker here and I will link a huge bow video down below for you guys in case you don't have a bow maker I also make a bow without the easy bow maker but you're just going to pop your piece of wire um, down here I used a pipe cleaner 
and then I'm measuring it out five inches for my tail. And I have tried this Easy Bow Maker several times now, and I absolutely love it, you guys. Um, you can buy them pretty much anywhere. Just Google Easy Bow Maker. I know Deco Exchange sells them as well as Amazon. So I'm just taking and I'm making the ribbon five inches on each side. What I love about it, it's that has the little measurements already on there. So it makes it super easy. And then I'm twisting my ribbon and this is just some wired ribbon that I found on Amazon and I'm gonna create a little tail. So I'm gonna cut in an upper direction and that's gonna create that really pretty little boutique finish. So here is my first layer. My idea is to do several different layers to give this wreath some nice texture. I also wanna do this all season bow, that way I can reuse it for any season because it's going to have all neutral colors. So now I'm taking my striped ribbon and I believe both of these ribbons are about two and a half inches wide and I'm going to give it a twist. You guys can see I gave it a twist that way my black and white pretty part is facing out and then I'm just going to go ahead and measure. This is also five inches wide so each one of these loops back and forth back and forth is going to be five inches wide and I wasn't super concerned about my tails but you can also measure them perfectly if you want to. Again, don't forget to cut in an upwards triangle. You're just going to fold the ribbon over on itself, cut in an upwards triangle, and that's gonna give you that pretty little dovetail in boutique finish. Now I'm adding in some of this burlap. I felt like the tobacco basket has kind of that farmhouse flair, so I felt like the burlap would be really pretty, and also the tan is gonna pull in the tan from the tobacco basket basket and the sign. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut in an upwards direction again. And again, then I'm going to go ahead and add in another layer of ribbon. So for the next layer, I decided to use that Mackenzie Childs inspired ribbon. I don't believe this is actually Mackenzie Childs ribbon, but it is a lot less expensive. I'll link some in my Amazon store for you guys, as well as the bow maker and other crafting supplies that you all might need. I really have have begun learning how to shop on Amazon. So again, I'm just making a five inch loop on each side and pressing it down. This is so foolproof. I love this bow maker. And you guys know me, I make the Olivia bows, what I call it for reference point. I make a handmade bow and I love that bow for my big wreaths. But for some of these smaller projects, I really feel like the control that you have with this easy bow maker is really nice. Now I'm adding in some of this burlap mesh ribbon, again, about five inches on each side and then once I have that done I'm just going to trim that off and then I'm going to take the little pipe cleaner and pull the whole bow up and I want to twist that pipe cleaner to the back now I'm sure there's different ways to make this but this is just the way that I found that's easiest for me for my project so I'm going to take and twist tie the pipe cleaner on the back and then I can add that bow to the front and to add the bow I just took a little um, floral stem and pop that into the center to secure it to the center of my project. And then my little tip for making a pretty bow is to make sure you really... Now that I have my pretty florals in the centerpiece of my table, I'm gonna go ahead and set it and I'm gonna lay down these little Dollar Tree placemats with a bamboo placement, again from Dollar Tree, my little white thrift store plate, another Dollar Tree lemon dishes. And I know you guys are gonna ask, these dishes came from the Dollar Tree. They put them out last summer and they were also available online. So when I tell you guys to check things out at Dollar Tree, if you can't leave your house and do it safely, um, please wait and look online or you can maybe even find some pretty dishes on Amazon. I'll try to find some and link them in my Amazon store. I'm just continuing to layer and add more pretty dishes. The other fun thing that I have to share with you guys is find some really cute paper napkins. They have them at the Dollar Tree. They also have them at Target and Walmart. Pop them into a special little summer glass and that is really going to bring a nice accent piece and it's also going to tie in some of your home decor. I think 
just is decorating with items that you already are gonna have in your home. I always have apples and lemons on hand, and we just happened to go to the grocery store yesterday, so I was really in luck for this one, and use those to decorate with and offset some beautiful summer colors. So hopefully my family will grab an apple, a nice healthy snack, but it's also gonna look beautiful on my table. Another sweet deal that you guys can find at Dollar Tree are their placemats. Check out this little lemon placemat. I love getting a placemat that has some pretty patterns on it, but I like to layer it on the bottom so it's not too overwhelming on this table setting. And then I just added this pretty little bamboo placemat to the top of that. These were at Dollar Tree last year as well. And here I'm just finishing up setting my beautiful table. My assistant, my daughter, she is such a good sport and so sweet. She helped me um, set this table by handing me the goodies. I wanted to make it look really cool and just perfect. So I hope you guys are loving this. Let me know if this is bringing some sunshine into your day. But all of these yellows, and I will tell you to be totally honest with you, I don't really decorate that much with yellows, but I found this little um, yellow check gingham tablecloth again on burlapfabric.com. Thank you so much for sending me these treasures months ago. So thankful. Um, but I'll also try to link some in my Amazon store. So check my Amazon store and maybe even if I can find some links, I'll put them in the description box for you. But here it all is coming together. Oh my goodness, this just made me so happy. Maybe because I just really need to see sunshiny things um, is why I'm being really drawn to yellow right now. It just seems like such a happy color. Um, but, but you guys, please use whatever color you have with your dishes and whatever you have on hand. Pull it out, make it new to you, which is basically what I did because I think normally I would have went out and shopped and found new this and new that. But I was really surprised to find this peace and gentleness in my spirit um, just by trying to have gratitude. I hope this is making sense what I'm saying. But having gratitude, being um, grateful for what I already have and celebrating that. So whatever you have right now in your home, celebrate that and make it pretty. You guys can do it. I can't wait too, to see some of your pictures. I know you're going to share with me over on my Facebook group. Check that out or even tag me on Instagram. I love y'all. Let me know what was your favorite part of this video. Are you going to go for any yellow this year? Um, and how are you all doing? I love for you guys to drop a comment below. Check in with me so I know. And if you need prayer, drop those prayer requests below too, because this community is amazing. And we've got some prayer warriors on here. And sometimes it feels good just to get it out there. Thank you guys again for being here. I love y'all so much. So for the first Dollar Tree DIY, I want to take these super adorable little lemon prints and I'm going to remove them from their frames. I absolutely adore the little prints inside and the frames are cute, but I don't decorate with a whole lot of gold. So I'm just going to take them outside and spray paint them with some flat white Rust-Oleum spray paint. This is probably my favorite is the 2X Rust-Oleum spray paint, but you could use the $1.99 spray paint as well. I did use a tiny bit of antique wax I rubbed on them to give them a bit of an aged look and now I'm just going to go ahead and put them back into their frames. I think painting frames is such a great way to add some pops of color or if you're going for whites like I am to just streamline your pictures and update them just a bit really just to make them fit into your decor so I love this it says be still and know that I am with you and it has a beautiful little lemons and then the other one says our family is just the right mix of chaos and love which I think really defines our little family that we have in my home I I'm just taking a clothes hanger that I had left over. I actually didn't have any more wreath bases at this point So I thought why not try and use a coat hanger and so you'll just take the coat hang hanger apart And then do your best to try to make it into somewhat of a circle Now I'm just taking some of that Dollar Tree garland and I'm going to wrap it around the coat hanger I did end up securing it with some Dollar Tree floral wire as well Now this wreath is not going to be the sturdiest of wreaths. I'm gonna forewarn you guys right now. I think it would actually make a better kind of like a 
candle garland, but it does work really nicely in a small space. And so now I'm just adding some of that wire just to really kind of secure onto here. And then I wanted to really jazz this up and use this for my kitchen. And so I decided to take some of those Dollar Tree lemons, add a dab of hot glue and hot glue some of the cute little Dollar Tree lemons to the wreath. Now I know Walmart has the lemons and I've heard that they're a little bit smaller and that actually might work better on a small project like this. But here it is with the adorable little Dollar Tree polka dot Olivia bow. It looks perfect right here on my little chalkboard and ready to roll. Oh sweet summer, here we come. I'm going to take some of this faux fruit that I found at the Dollar Tree and this hurricane um, glass piece that I found at the thrift store and I popped it on top of this pretty decorative plate and then I'm just going to fill the hurricane with some lemons. I think this is a wonderful way to add some pops of color and this is a ridiculously easy DIY. Anybody can do this. I also want to let you guys know that Dollar Tree is carrying some really pretty ribbon. Now this buffalo check plaid ribbon again is left over from Christmas so I'm just going to wrap it around the base of my little hurricane vase. This step is definitely optional but you guys know me I kind of like to make things a little bit chic even when I'm going for more of a farmhouse style and so I just added a dab of hot glue to the back of the of the hurricane vase and then I'm going to take this polka dot ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm going to double it up and just tie a shoelace bow. So a shoelace bow is just how you would tie your shoelaces but I did double up the ribbon so it's going to give you four loops um, total and two on each side. It's just kind of a little bit fancier of a way to do a bit of a bow and then I'm going to trim it off. I do like to dovetail my ends and that way it kind of gives it a little boutique finish but for this one I did just leave the ends a bit plain and I did add a dab of hot glue to kind of secure it onto here. How adorable is this? Now I know you guys see in home goods they have really cute little vases and baskets and they'll add ribbons to it and really mark those prices up so I thought this would be a fun easy and expensive way definitely be checking your Dollar Tree for some of this really adorable farmhouse chic ribbon they're, they're putting out they have polka dots um, if you like the little red truck I wasn't able to find that one but I did find the polka dot and the lemon ribbon and I just added some of this fruit in and around and I'm going to share with you guys how I put this entire than yet together but I am loving these chic farmhouse ideas and pops of color I know that during the winter a lot of you all have to have some pops of color so I just thought this would be a fun way to add it for the next DIY I'm gonna take one of these Dollar Tree candles they are putting out candles that are just plain white and then I'm gonna wrap some of that Buffalo check plaid ribbon around the base of it add some hot glue now I will tell you guys that I did not add the Buffalo check plaid ribbon where I um, lined up the little checks very well so definitely be sure learn from my mistake and and line your checks up perfectly but this is farmhouse and I don't know you guys everybody makes mistakes in crafting so forgive me on that one if it drives you a little crazy on that but we're gonna add some ribbon to go over where we hot glued the edges here just to give it a little bit more of a seamless um, edge and this is gonna go to the back and then for the front I did go ahead and decide to add a cute little bow you guys know I love my bows again this is just a shoelace bow super simple and easy and then I'm gonna trim that off and hot glue it to the front of this adorable little candle you're the rose in a garden and it shows if I'm honest you're the leaves in mid-august and I've come out here to say
For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm gonna create a really cute little um, throw pillow using this Dollar Tree. Um, it's just like um, a kitchen towel. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. This is going to be a no sew kitchen towel pillow. So I had some extra white fabric and I just flipped my kitchen towel over on top of the white fabric. Um, and then I'm going to hot glue each seam so you guys can see that I'm just hot gluing each seam. Now this is going to be a throw pillow. So it's just going to sit out as more of a decor piece. I'm not worried about trying to wash it. I have washed hot glue though. Um, no problem problem you just wash with cold water so anyway I'm just hot gluing all the edges of the pillow using my little hot glue gun and then I'm gonna stuff the pillow now make sure that when you're creating these no sew throw pillows that you face the fabric inside that you want to eventually have facing outside because you're gonna take it and you're gonna turn it inside out so I hope that makes sense to you guys now I'm just gonna trim off the excess fabric the white fabric was stretchy and so I gave just a little bit of edging on the ends in case the fabric wanted to move around on me now normally when I do these no sew pillows I do um, just go ahead and leave that end open it makes it a little bit easier to close up but I got busy here and just kind of forgot I'm gonna go ahead and stuff it with some pillow stuffing that I had left over from another decorative throw pillow and then see I kind of left this end open here here, I'm going to begin to close it up by just folding each end under and then hot gluing the seams together. This is probably the trickiest part. Again, you want to do this on the shortest end. I wasn't paying attention. I left the longest end to have to hot glue, so I made a little bit too much work for myself here but this part you just have to go kind of really slow pinch those ends together and be very patient and try not to burn yourself this is a good day as any to start the rebuilding of life the roads that lay open are many when the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin now here is what my pillow looked like after I got done with a little hot gluing. I did get this tea towel at Dollar Tree, but use whatever pretty fabrics that you have on hand or little tea towels or just anything that is going to brighten your day. So here is popped in also with the little um, live in decor. How fun and fabulous. And it just really brought a smile to all of our faces just to have this sunshiny lemon um, happiness i guess is what you would call it just a dab of happiness in our day i am hoping to get some yellow and white buffalo check plaid pillows but we'll have to save that one for a rainy day right now i'm just going to be content with using what i have so for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take these Dollar Tree lemons and I have this little stem. It's actually one of the Dollar Tree cotton stems, but you can take the lemons and you can just remove the bottoms and hot glue the bottom of the lemon and then pop them on to the branch of your stem. So Pier 1 Imports sells these and they're super expensive. I'm not quite for sure why, but they are. Um, and if you guys don't have any lemons on hand don't go out and buy them you can order these off amazon i'll link some in my amazon store for you guys to go check out down in the description box below or you can just type in amazon or maybe even walmart i think carries decorative lemons so now i'm just going to take a little dollar tree greenery garland and i'm going to attach it to the bottom and i'm just going to wind it in and around the lemon and i actually showed this diy to you guys um, a couple of months back so if you already have have this on hand this is that little lemon branch that we created and I'm just going to use this in my garland so you don't necessarily really have to make this branch um, but I just wanted to share it with you guys in case you did have some fake fruit you could also use um, apples or whatever goodies you guys have on hand that you may want to decorate with I did end up adding one more Dollar Tree greenery garland I picked these greenery garlands up last season I believe 
um, but they're a little bit sparse. So that's why I went ahead and just added two. So to create this beautiful mantle garland, I went ahead and used a garland of greenery that I found at Michael's. It was a couple of months back um, at the beginning of the spring season. And then I'm just gonna pop my little lemon decor piece into the front of this. You guys know me, I do like to get pretty creative with my florals. So I continued to add in some more lemons. I had created two of those lemon branches and then I had some of this lime green greenery that I went ahead and popped into it just to kind of offset the darker greenery and kind of lighten things up. Again, I'm using everything that I already have on hand. And if you need greenery, Amazon definitely has some really great deals on greenery. So here it is after I popped in the lime green greenery and then the little greenery cascading down the side. Um, it really made my heart sparkle and shine and I hope it's bringing a ray of sunshine to your face as well in your day. <laughs> So here it is, oh my goodness. I think it's really cute with the little um, sign that I made with the kiddos pictures and all of that goodies mixed in with the gray and white and the lemons. Today and not tomorrow, there's no time to borrow. Today is a good day to live. This morning I so clear a light as I need to see the horizon in the far. Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face All that ever was is a fresh sunshine summer sign so just use a Dollar Tree sign really anyone will do and I'm just putting one coat of my homemade chalk paint on it and to make the homemade chalk paint you just use one cup of regular paint to half a cup of baking soda and mix well now I'm taking some painters tape and I want to make stripes some sunshine yellow stripes on this sign so I'm taking the painters tape and I'm adhering one layer of painters tape Tape, and then I'm using another strip of the painter's tape to guide my stripes. I hope that makes sense. And so now I'm just putting down the third layer of paint, painter's tape and then I'm going to take that middle one up. And you're just going to continue to do that process until you get all of the tape down the front part of your sign. I was really excited for how great my stripes ended up coming on this. And then also Arteza Crafts Company sent me this really beautiful acrylic paint and I'm using the lemon yellow color. I will leave a coupon code down below if you guys want some really high quality acrylic paints. Otherwise, you can just grab some from Dollar Tree or from Walmart and those will work great too. So now I'm just painting the stripes on my sign and I did just use one coat of chalk paint on my base sign and then one coat of the lemon yellow for my stripes. Now that I have the lines painted onto my little Dollar Tree lemon stripe sign, I am just going to go ahead and use some sandpaper and distress the front part of the sign. I just did this very gently, but I did want to give it that aged appearance. And now I just grabbed some Dollar Tree acrylic white paint, and I just want to go over the little bit of yellow stripes to kind of tone them down just a hair. This step is definitely optional. Now I'm taking some of those Dollar Tree letters and 
and I want to put lemons, I want to spell out lemons on the front and then put five cents um, underneath it. And you can tell that I ran out of room, so I actually had to move these letters down. <laughs> Um, but I just used also the Dollar Tree numbers. I really love these. These are a peel and stick um, letter and number set, and they are awesome. And then to get the set part, I just cut out one of the little um, exclamation points. I just cut it apart. And then you can tell I moved my lemons down, and now I'm using one of those Dollar Tree notepads that had the lemons on it that I picked up. And I'm just cutting out some of the cute little lemons that were on the notepad, and I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm going to Mod Podge my lemons onto the front part of my sign. And I did end up going over the entire sign with one coat of Mod Podge, including the letters. And that way, hopefully, they'll stay down just a little bit because they do have a tendency to kind of um, peel up a bit. So sometimes adding a bit of glue really does help. And there is my little trusty assistant, Benji Bear. He is digging his new little banana toy. And hey, listen, as always, I ask you guys, comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video. And also, don't forget to answer my secret question so you can enter my Cricut Joy giveaway. Winner will be announced June 15th. And the secret question is, what is your favorite summertime song? What do you love to blast in your car in summertime? So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It is a true blessing and an honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home and I love to share with y'all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. Listen, and for everybody that comes back and loves on me and is part of this community, thank you. It is a true blessing and honor to have you all here. I just want to encourage you all to keep up the good work crafting and decorating and wherever you're at in your crafting and decorating journey or in life in general, Keep putting one foot in front of the other. Um, remember that we have so much things to look forward to in the future with joy. And I know for me, crafting and decorating, it definitely helps me. It's such an outlet, so I hope, you, I hope it helps you as well. I wanna hug all of your hearts so tight and I wanna wish you a gorgeous, blessed day. I have a lot more ideas for our summer crafting and decorating. We're gonna do more patio front porch decor. We are gonna do more um, patriotic stuff, uh, probably more lemon stuff. So some farmhouse, some chic, you know, I just love to try to mix it up and give you guys so many different ideas. So anyway, I love y'all to the moon and back. I can't wait for our next video. Now I am posting a Cricut giveaway. So don't forget to comment down below the answer to the secret question in this video. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on all my social medias. I do several videos a day on Facebook. I also have a little Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook group page. It's totally free to join. It's a place for everybody to connect and share photos of their home decor and their DIY projects. So thank you guys for everybody that's inspiring and having fun over there. I also have an Olivia's Romantic Home Instagram page. I do share a good morning cup of coffee with you all on my stories. Um, morning is my favorite time of the day. I love having a nice cup of coffee. I have prayer cards that I get from Dollar Tree and I read one every morning. It just helps me set my day, even if the rest of the day is downhill, which I have days like that, trust me. Um, those prayer cards are definitely a key to helping just me stay in grace and in love and in truth. So I hope that's where y'all are at as well. And if not, I'm praying for you and I hope you get there. So anyway, I want to let you guys go. Have a gorgeous, fabulous, blessed day. And until our next video, we will be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. And we'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.